a little bit or if he hits some atom balls. Drives the first pitch foul. Between Betts, Otani, and Freeman yesterday, they were on base 12 out of their 15 times up. Bottom six, though. That's fouled off, and it's 0-2. Drags that one along the line, foul. And you could see it in the at-bats, but now he looks very comfortable in this mm -hmm. uniform and comfortable in the box. Said he, he has a renewed sense of ease at the play, where he's pressing until he hit that first home run, last home stand. It's flowed out of him since. Just misses that inside corner. An angel was watching over him there. <laughs> Nice. Did you, you th think about that one on the right end today? No, I just came to me, I promise. <laughs> now 1 2. Otani swings and misses. Breaking pitch gets him. Really good mirroring for this pitch as far as from the sinker that was slightly in and down and then to throw a low breaking ball that ends up down there. Said to him what the playoffs did for, to him, what all of a sudden moving to short does. You accomplish so much, you need the next thing you need to jump over. Otani with a man aboard in one way. Speaking of improving, speaking of jumping over, Otani, his first spring training with the Angels, put him through the full battery of physical tests, and he was elite at everything except his vertical jump. And foot. Smashes this ball. Forget about it. Marte doesn't even move. It's gone. Philadelphia now. Sixth of Otani's career. He stands alone for Japanese born sluggers. 176 Major League home runs, passing Hideki Matsui. There is always a celebration in the dugout when someone hits a home run, but you could tell the facial expressions and the enthusiasm. They know how big. There's no doubt as they come. Yeah, there was no mystery. Darling Marte just stands, stays facing home plate. And now, which fan gets it? Whoever gets it, they're going to get to meet Otani. <laughs> yeah, everyone that he hits is significant because he's the one that hit it, but some of them carry a little bit of extra sparkle. First one as a dodge. Up two to nothing on Otani's blast. And I think this is the most that we've seen him smile. The biggest smile we've seen from him since he put on that uniform. When you think about, you know, guys that you've idolized, guys that you've gotten to meet. I mean, I remember meeting Al Kaline. I remember getting Johnny Bench out. I remember getting Pete Rose out. It's just, it's pretty special. Steal. Shohei Otani's fifth home run as a Dodger is his 176th in the big leagues, more than anybody ever from Japan. Started the scoring in the third inning. We take a look at inside the box score brought to you by your Lexus Steelers. His 176th career home run, breaking a tie with Hideki Matsui for the most by a Japanese born big leaguer. And it brought the widest smile we've probably seen since he joined the Dodgers. Off the hands here and foul. With that ball 110 miles an hour off the bat, 423 feet out there for that record home run. with the Dodgers 176 for his career where is that number going to be when this is all finished 
Two on, nobody out. Otani on a 1 1 pitch. Swings and misses, 1 and 2. The modern day Babe Ruth. The power and the pitching. Of course, this year just the power. But he has already exceeded Babe Ruth in the longevity of being a legitimate two way player. The Babe only did it for a couple years. The 1 2 pitch. Before the home run, he struck out on a curveball. A lot of times, your memory takes back to your pitch selection, so probably something off speed here. Lux is second and bets at first. Another one, two. And Otani grounds one off Hauser. Everybody's safe. Base is loaded. Hauser should have went with his memory. He decided to go with the fastball. And Otani spanked it right back up the middle. Wouldn't be surprised if that's another hard hit ball. Definitely hits hard because it doesn't go anywhere. Spanked it up the middle and it spanked him and training staff's coming out. That brilliant. <laughs> Freeman pulls one, right field, Marte, diving attempt, can't get it, it could unload the bases. One run is in, two runs are in, they're going to stop Otani, and Freeman's into second with a two-run double. Second double of the game. Right before he hit that oil, we were talking about his desire to improve and find every little edge. And when he had found out that he didn't have a good vertical jump, showed up a month later and improved it by a foot. But when they told him that he was just average on the vertical jump, he got online and started to study how do you improve your vert. You watch YouTube videos, he read articles about it, he practiced, and yeah, he was elite by the time he tested again. Doesn't need that for baseball, but that's just a glimpse into his personality, kind of a glimpse into the soul of Shohei Otani. When he finds one thing where he's average, whether it matters a ton or not, and he's determined to fix it. The best in the world compete against themselves, not against others. And that is surely a trait that he has. Boy, Mookie ticks. He's going to be reading, getting videos on Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> He's on for the third time today. Game with a two run single. Jumps out of the way of the first pitch here. Mm, tried to at least, and it hit him. Hartwick's been all over. Smith chases here for strike three and two away in the six. Seven of his last nine times off, Shohei has. Swats a fly ball to left field at a backup Nimmo and send this game to the seventh.